Collagen supplements continue to be very popular for skin health and reducing wrinkles, but the big question is, do collagen supplements actually reduce wrinkles? And if so, how much? In this video, I'm going to show you the research I uncovered on collagen supplements, some of my questions about that research, and some of the products have actually been tested. And at the end of it, I'm going to show you my big four questions I have about collagen and wrinkles. Let's go. Now, this is the second video I've done on collagen recently. I'm going to refer you back to my very first video on collagen types. There are different types of collagen, type 1 collagen, type 2 collagen, type 3 collagen. If you use the wrong type, you may not get the benefits you're thinking about. So I'm going to link to that other video. You really need to check it out. Now, let's look at the proof for collagen and wrinkle reduction. I'm going to start by showing you the fact that yes, there is some evidence that collagen peptides, peptides are small chains of amino acids from collagen, as well as collagen from fish. Yeah, go figure. Fish actually has been tested to see if it reduces uh, wrinkles. And there is some evidence that uh, the skin elasticity is improved, the hydration improves, and even reduction in wrinkles doesn't happen overnight. If, it, if this research is believed it may take six months maybe even longer to see a difference and I'll talk about that in the video but let me go to the best study so far on collagen and wrinkles and here it is oral intake of specific bioactive collagen peptides reduces skin wrinkles and increases the dermal matrix synthesis so we've got 114 women for between the ages of 45 and 65 that's a good age range for looking at wrinkles and collagen they're given either a placebo or 2.5 grams, 2,500 milligrams of this collagen supplement. And they take it once a day for eight weeks. What do they find? After this eight-week study are up, the people taking the collagen, they had significant improvement reduction in the eye wrinkle volume. The wrinkles around their eyes, their crow's feet got better after eight weeks. And it looks like they're saying it's about a 20% improvement after the eight weeks of this supplement. Sounds great. What kind of improvement did we actually see? Let's look at the pictures. So over here on the left, we have the before, and here we have eight weeks after taking the supplement. And as you can kind of see here, uh, over here on the top side of the picture, I see a line here. I don't see, it doesn't look as prominent over here, but you can still see it. I see right above it, another line, which appears if I go to the right side, much less prominent here. Uh, if I look up here at this, what looks to be an age spot around the temple region, it looks less prominent, but it's still visible. It's something to keep in the back of your mind if you're looking at terms of collagen for age spots. Again, it would depend on the, uh, the, the darkness of the age spot. And I see a little bit of a line over here, just looks like it's going kind of diagonally, and I really don't see it at all over here on the right side. Uh, again, a little bit, I'm not sure with this over here, if this is an age spot, I can still see something here on the right side. So I do see some wrinkle reduction on the top side of the screen. If we look to the bottom side of the screen, it looks like a little bit more improvement, where I see some crow's feet over here, it looks like one, two, three lines of crow's feet, less prominent on the right side, and then there there is a line up here above those three lines of crow's feet that's uh, going horizontal, and I really don't see that at all on the right side. And then uh, again, a couple crow's feet up top, which again are hardly visible over here, uh, over here on the right side of the screen. So there is some improvement in these, again, fine lines and wrinkles, especially around the eye region, the crow's feet, with this collagen supplement. This does appear to be the very best study to date on collagen and crow's feet and wrinkles. It's not the only study out there, so let me show you the other research and some qualms I have with that research. So we've got this investigation, oral supplementation of collagen peptides has beneficial effects on human skin physiology. It's a great study. It's a double blind placebo controlled study. Again, keep in back of your mind, a lot of these studies are done by these supplement companies that make these products. Keep in back of your mind. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's always something to, to think about. Again, great study. I like it. Um, they have these women, it's 69 women. Uh, they're aged 35 to 55 years of age. Again, they're given a placebo or two and a half grams or five grams of a collagen peptide supplement for eight weeks. What do they know? 
Well, those taking the collagen supplement in both dosages had improvements in skin elasticity. Okay, that's really good. So their skin became uh, more elastic. They didn't sag as much, they're saying, it sounds, it sounds like. And then four weeks after the, uh, the study was over, these researchers also noted a statistically significant increase in skin elasticity. And it, what I'll just stop here, they'll say, in the elderly women, hey, researchers, I'm sorry, 55, that ain't elderly. But again, and that's a discussion that uh, for another date, but it's not elderly. Uh, what I also notice here is that uh, the skin moisture was improved, the skin evaporation was improved uh, from the collagen supplement. And as all these studies show, no side effects, no studies show any really any side effects when it comes to collagen. So that's a good thing. My problem with the study, it's a great study, but where are the before and after pictures? I just showed you in one investigation before and after pictures, there's none here. What's up with that? It is what it is. Uh, we've got this other investigation, oral intake of, a, of basically a low molecular weight collagen peptide, collagen supplement, improves hydration, elasticity, and wrinkling in skin. Again, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled study. Sounds great. So we've got 64 women. They're given either a placebo or they're given 1,000 milligrams, one gram, of this collagen supplement for three months, okay? And they find that those taking the collagen supplement, they find that uh, after the study is over, after 12 weeks, they find uh, there's, there's improvements in skin wrinkling, which are better, the wrinkles got better, Nobody had any side effects, which is a great thing. Uh, again, sounds terrific, right? Where, where are the before and after pictures? Again, you'd think if they're doing these studies and they're, sh they're saying that the wrinkles are getting better, why the heck aren't they doing any before and after pictures? Come on, researchers, think about this. What else we got out there? So we've got this study of a collagen supplement, which again, apparently reduces the uh, visible signs of aging. And again, it's a specific type of collagen supplement they're highlighting here, most likely maybe done by the company that makes this product. They're taking 50 milliliters of this collagen supplement on a daily basis for two months. And they say it led to noticeable improvements, reductions in skin dryness, skin wrinkles got better, and even the nasal labial fold depth uh, improved as well. Nas Nasal labial fold, let me stop you right here. Nasal labial fold, that's that line that goes from the bottom of our noses out to the creases, the corners of our mouths. And that's called the nasal labial fold. And for us in America, 50 milliliters, that's about an ounce and a half. So they didn't take a whole lot of this, but they, they did notice it apparently showed some improvements, uh, again, after about two months of use. Oh, and it, again, uh, the improvements in skin, in collagen density and skin furnace was improved as well. Um, they did have some before and after pictures in this investigation, which I liked, but not the before and after pictures I kind of wanted to see. Here are some before and after pictures of collagen density in the skin. And yeah, you can see that uh, there is some better density in the collagen uh, on these right side of the pictures. Collagen over here, over here it's better versus in the before pictures. So yeah, that's something I would say, but it's not the same thing as uh, say taking pictures of those nasal labial folds and let's see if that looks better. But again, it is what it is. With research, this is sometimes what you get. We've got this other investigation, which again looks like it's another collagen supplement. Uh, again, they find that uh, you know they, get, they basically use 26 women. They're given a gram, a thousand milligrams of this collagen supplement for three months, and they say again it led to significant reductions in skin dryness, skin scaling, and global uh, lines, fine lines, and wrinkles. I take global to mean everywhere on the face. That's how I'm assuming what that means. Could be everywhere on the body, but global, I think in this respect, means probably the face. And that's good. So again, 1,000 milligrams of, of this particular supplement uh, appear to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. Again, they're saying by about 13%, but unfortunately, again, no before and after pictures. I, I, again, I don't get why they're not taking before and after pictures. It, it, it seems like it'd be a no-brainer to me, but it is, again, it is what it is. So I just told you the research on collagen peptides. What about gelatin? Remember, collagen comes from gelatin as well. Yeah, that same type of gelatin that may be in your kitchen right now. Maybe you're thinking about making it for dessert. Is there any reason that gelatin might also benefit the skin? 
Maybe. So here is a preliminary study. Yeah, it is a rat study, but I really wanted to bring it to your attention because it is very interesting. They took collagen from fish, sturgeon, they gave it to rats for one year, and they noted that the, uh, the dermal, dermal thickness, that's a region of our skin, that improved almost 19%. The density of the collagen fibers in the skin improved over 22%. That's quite interesting as well. But also notice this, the anti antioxidant enzyme activity in the skin improved as well and this correspond to a decrease in free radical damage in the skin. Melanoaldehyde is a measurement of free radical damage and it, it decreased by about 32%. Why is this interesting? Well, turns out collagen has uh, some interesting amino acids such as proline and hydroxyproline. These amino acids appear to have antioxidant free radical scavenging ability. That may be why the uh, free radical damage appeared to go down. Again, it is what it is. This appears to be the only study I've seen so far on gelatin, but this may give you some things to think about, maybe about maybe uh, what you're having for dessert tonight. Something to think about. And that leads me to my big four questions about collagen and wrinkle reduction, and here they are. Do collagen supplements increase hydroxyproline levels in humans? This is important. Pay attention. Hydroxyproline is an amino acid that is extremely important for collagen production. We make it, but as we get older, we make less hydroxyproline, and this can correspond to wrinkles and sagging skin, etc. So, we know that there's a lot of hydroxyproline in collagen and gelatin, and but does that does does taking these collagen supplements increase hydroxyproline levels? Our natural production of hydroxyproline. And to that, I'm going to say no. There is no evidence that taking collagen supplements improves hydroxyproline production in human beings. But, and here, may, here might be the, the silver lining here, there is some evidence that the hydroxyproline from gelatin can get into our bloodstream. If it can get into our bloodstream, can that hydroxyproline be used by us to make collagen? That's the big question that I think somebody needs to figure out. Anybody who can prove that, well, that's going to be the holy grail of a collagen supplement uh, industry out there. Again, the other thing I have a question about is, uh, again, what's the optimal dosage? And I would say, looking at the research so far, we're looking at between 1,000 milligrams and about 10,000 milligrams a day, one gram to 10 grams a day. Looking at the totality of the research, and again, I'm gonna point you back to my other video on collagen types. You wanna make sure you're getting the appropriate type, type one, type two, type three. I'm gonna say type one, and or type one and type three, not type two. See that video for much more information. Does gelatin work as well as collagen supplements? This is a big question that I don't think we should hold our breath on because there's no incentive to test inexpensive gelatin. It's probably in your kitchen right now. Gelatin is inexpensive. Collagen supplements, not so inexpensive. So there's really not a, there's really not an incentive for a company to see if, if, if inexpensive gelatin works just as well. But I did try to show you some preliminary research to suggest maybe it might. Again, maybe a combination of gelatin and collagen may work better. We don't know the answer to that yet, and we may not know it for a long time. So I want you to keep that in the back of your mind. And then lastly, how long is this going to take? Well, I did say anywhere from two to maybe six months or so. I'm going to say maybe take this out to maybe a year. It really does depend on the depth of the wrinkles and maybe some other things are involved as well. Personally, I don't think collagen supplements will work as well in say somebody who's tanning all day or smoking all day because both those things are gonna cause wrinkles. So how we live our life may play a role in the effectiveness of collagen supplements. So there you have it. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Have you tried collagen? Did it work for you? Did it, did it reduce your wrinkles? I, again, people have told me it works and I've presented some preliminary research to say it might, but I think it might be an individual thing. So what do you think, gang? Leave a comment below and don't forget to like and share and subscribe. And I'll leave you with, until next time, go out, be safe and where you can, try to make a difference.